in Ewan Allen's book, The Wire-Headed Heathen, um, he sold this to me in person when I met him at um, Jess Green's Poetry Night here in Leicester, Find the Right Words. He told me that the audience want to see what you are afraid to share. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd read out one of his poems. This is called Shame is the Cape I Wear. Yeah, Inuit Ellums, the wire-headed heathen. On the first day of holidays, my mother leaves a dark blue wrapper on her bed, her polished boots in one corner, and in no time I assemble a superhero costume to defend our house against the plague of lizards. Their spindly children, tongues flicking, nodding under afternoon heat. They are a reptilian evil. Every hero needs a nemesis. This cotton cape cast me as Niger's Superman and they threaten life in the Lagos metropolis. No matter the property you buy, how tight shut the gutters, how climb proof the walls, also how sharp their crown of barbed wires. Lizards come. Father, who insists a clean, well-swept backyard helps, is away and the long-tailed legions are confidently swarming all about the place, across air vents, up the garden's wire mesh, too thin to survive their claws. Anyway, I'm hovering by that mesh, a rubber band stretched between my fingers, cape flowing and a quiver of toothpick-thick bristles, one curled against a taut elastic. I catch a lizard's beady, steady eyes, take aim, fire, and watch the bristle break through its back, first piercing its soft stomach. And my aim just gets better. An hour, and there are bodies piled. Above, a commotion of flies, excitable over the stiffening flesh and blood. And I have watched my shadow lengthen to cover the grey and red-head corpses, the backyard a silent killing field. And I could almost feel that flowing cape deflate. Sometimes I think that little boy in his mother's work boots has followed me my whole life through. There he is when I'm laughing at a party and find the crimson drink spilled across the clean carpet. Or when I look into a mirror and see what the years have done to me. I flick through the news channels and catch a wartime president speak of quick victories, of collateral damage and first class weapons. The locals broken behind soldiers in, and men in tweed who will fabricate stories of jubilant cheers and fist pumps. And shame is the cape I wear that day. Shame. And that little boy, that shadow, is there his head hanging down as it did then, his hands shaking. Um, that's a poem by Inuit Ellums. And yeah, he told me after he performed that poem and I bought his book, that the audience want to see what you are afraid to share. And um, so, yeah, that's what inspired me to do the video I did yesterday. <laughs> I got one message after like two minutes of that video being up saying, um, I'm sure you're going to be inundated with messages of support for your mental health. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, I hope not. And um, it's fine. And thank you if you are sending messages like that. It's really nice. But... Um, that's not what I did the thing for. It's about, yeah, the, the sad is there, and I realise that, and I'm, I know I've invited that because of what I've put out. But it's about, the real thing is about the transference of it, and the poem is the product. So I felt like I could laugh then, once I'd done it, and I felt like it wasn't pent up anymore. It's about release, it's about balance. So that's what I'm trying to say. It's like this. I got a bike stolen about two years ago and um, so I went afterwards to the sound house and then I went on stage right at the end at midnight and I just fucking dedicated a poem called Smug Face Cunt to the twat who stole my bike, shaking the fucking broken bent bike lock in my hand. It's, it's just loads of cartoon violence and um, rhyming swearing words. I'd sort of written it as a heckle put down and I did manage to use it in Kettering once. That was that was great. Uh, Rob Reeves' his night. That was... Uh, and um, the point of that and the point of this is to show you that if you are struggling to find the right way out of a problem, it's about expressing, I'm spending the energy, it's balanced, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's about 
that moment where I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, and then I'm like, I know what to do. It's it's literally that's 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 what that video. Te it's ten minutes long, but that's what I really think is what I needed to say. It's that's the that's the bit that is important. That's what I think. I know works and is a really useful thing that works for me. That people might be helped by knowing. Um, yeah, I think that's what. Yeah, because I'm I'm not doing it so that people go. I'm here to talk. I just did a little talking. You you watched it. You know I've done that. Thanks. 